Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is March 16th of 2019, and it's 5.37 a.m. in the morning. And let's get this lower third banner off of here. Lower third. There it is. There we go. That's better. Uh, let's see what the news is. My uh, <clears throat> my cell phone would uh, would not turn on for a while, and I couldn't figure out what it is. Finally, and I tried calling the number, and it didn't ring. The phone well it was it was actually turned on. Uh, it was not turned off. I just couldn't get it to come up. You know, the fingerprint, nothing worked. Pushing the button didn't. Nothing worked. Uh, um, I called the number and the phone didn't, you know, the phone didn't ring and, uh, but it, it didn't answer also, but at the end it did, um, uh, do voicemail, you know, do voicemail, but nothing came up. So I'm. Anyway, I went to check to see if maybe there, when it finally, and then it finally just popped on. So I have T-Mobile service, and I'm thinking maybe T-Mobile for some reason, although it seems like if, if there were no service, the phone would still come, I don't know what happened. Anyway, um, this is the news today. I have, in fact, I've only been outside the United States to Mexico one, you know, one time. Uh, never been to, well, I've never been outside the United States except for a trip down into Mexico for a few days with the family many years ago. Uh, <clears throat> but I've always, well, especially recently, been interested in New Zealand and I've even looked at, you know, online at real estate and islands for sale and all types of stuff. And uh, I've seen some fantastic, online, fantastic views of, you know, New Zealand. Uh, anyway, whoops, got that damn tracking thing on my face I turned that off um, where the camera tries to uh, you know stay focused on my face and I turned that off I started uh, making YouTube videos uh, in 2005 when YouTube started I was making videos and streaming videos before YouTube or Google or Amazon or Facebook or any any of those were around um, and uh, I think it's still on here someplace uh, well also I had camera you know the first cameras uh, there was no USB and you hooked it hooked into the parallel printer port RS-232 port I believe is what it would be actually called and of course it was in black and white and everything. But then later, uh, when those early cameras, you could get USB cameras that, uh, and they, well, like that was probably a US, probably a Logitech camera. Uh, it uh, did the tracking. And I made a video and the tracking thing The camera kept going to my crotch. I mean, it was I had pants on and everything, but it kept going to my crotch. I think that video is still on here, you know, someplace. Really bad quality. I mean, you know, the quality of the cameras has gotten so much better. I, you can see here up in the upper corner here, I've actually, I moved that one, Umbrella Light, and it's not on. And I added another 
well, back over in the corner where the other one was. I have it up there. Uh, so, um, I wanted to, oh, I, you may remember years, several years back, I purchased a Panasonic FZ300. I had then and still have an FZ200. Nice, it's a nice camera. Uh, but I bought the FZ300 camera and I purchased this book for it. And uh, because uh, this guy here, he has a YouTube, I'll put a link to it. He makes some great videos. And especially on Panasonic cam different cameras that I have. And uh, so anyway, I bought that camera. I had it almost a month. I, oh, I hardly used it. I had it almost a month and it broke. It's the only camera in my life that ever broke. And uh, Amazon, you know, refunded my money right away. And can't remember if that's when I bought the G7 or if I, I think that's when I bought the G7, Panasonic G7. But I am still interested in this camera and I am thinking about purchasing it for a number of reasons, which, you know, I won't go into. If you're, if you're interested, you know, you can check out uh, Panasonic FZ300. But uh, I am interested in it. Oh, what else has been going on? Still have my two monitors hooked up here. And now back using the G910 uh, keyboard. I, I now have, which I cannot see the bottom part of it, I do have, I still have my head cold. Ugh. Bothers me sometimes. Maybe it's allergies. Might be allergies. I think it's a head cold. Um, I have my Roku, small Roku television set over there, but I can't can't see the bottom part of it. But I don't watch, I usually watch Netflix and Amazon and those on the uh, computer, but of course you can watch them on the Roku. But I usually watch them on the on the computer. Uh, I have a big desk here, but they're just. In fact, I really I'd rather have one monitor than than two. But for what I'm doing, like right now, I have the controls for. I'm using Manicam. I have the uh, you know control program over here, so it's not taking up desktop over here. Um, I I think that the Roku TV. I guess maybe I could do a search. Maybe that would show up. Go to Amazon. Uh, I think that it has on the back where you can mount it to the wall, which I would not do here. Uh, but I'm thinking about, I've never had a stand, a, uh, that, you know, goes on the back and moves the monitor. I mean, this uh, monitor here that I have, the 4K, goes up and down, leans back and forth and really well. But I've never had, I have a, sort of a bad lip here for, uh, but I'm thinking about a, but let me see if I can go here and see if uh, that Roku, whoops, no, no, I want to go to orders, that's, yeah, I'm there, okay, don't I, search orders, okay, I have to have there, Roku TV, search. 
Oh, okay, the three of them are here. Okay, this is mine. It's a 28 inch. As you can see, we purchased, you know, three Roku TVs. Um, the one I have is a 27 inch 720p 2015 model. Like I said, I just hooked it up. I set it up, take it down. I keep trying to find the right place for it. I'm thinking now maybe, you know, that would be, especially with my arthritis, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see if this, uh, I, you may be able to hear the television in the other room. That's my ex-wife's 55 or whatever it is that we just saw going. And I have hearing loss in both ears. I'm wondering about if she has, because her TV is loud all the time. Let's see, uh, Roku, let's see. It says, without stand, let's see, Roku TV, TV without stand, inputs, wonder if they show us stand. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, wow. That's, uh, oh, that's a rolling cart or something. $399, let's see. Twit TV and some other places actually say that the best thing is to get a TV uh, without. Okay, well, yeah, I do see stands here. Okay, here's, of course, that's a wall mount. Um, you're better, because <coughs> Roku doesn't update the apps, but if you have just a TV, and then you use uh, Fire TV or Amazon TV or one of those other things, that those apps get updated better. Anyway, that's what I've heard. Here's a TV wall mount bracket with full motion and articulation. Uh, I'm going to put that on the wish list here. That way I can find it when I'm... Uh, well, I didn't check to see if that... Uh, let's see. Add to wish list. But I really, uh, uh, we live in an apartment here, and I really uh, hate to mount something like that from the wall. Okay, here's a whole bunch of different. And what, here's a ceiling wall mount. Oh, mercy. Now here's the best seller, according to 27 to 55 inch TVs. Let me add that to the wish list so I can find it when I need it. Time to play a little bit of a game here. Oh. I actually went to the casino the other day. Uh, lost money. I, in fact, I have one Years ago, I was in Can. I left Kansas City in 2000. Went to Florida. Went to a bunch of Indian casinos. Lost, 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 lost. I haven't won in a casino since 2000.
The light, the light. Oop, extra doors or something. Want to unlock more doors? Find a bar in any of your favorite games. Come on, scatter. Bed a little bit more here. This uh, Caesar's Palace or whatever it comes with Windows 10 for free. <clears throat> Although they offer you chances to buy you know, coins and stuff to play, so. And it's sometimes up for two ninety nine, you get some extra coins and <clears throat> some things. Sometimes I do that. So I, <clears throat> I don't do it real often, but I just did it a while ago. One more time. Oh no, okay. Well. <laughs> the only real game I play, and very rarely, is Civilization VI. I started out, you know, years ago playing. Uh, Age of Empires. And that was the only thing that I played. And then eventually I had Civilization, you know, five and six or whatever. Oh, okay. We're going to have a. We're going to have three wilds right here. Let's see now what pops up here. One more time. Let's see what pops up. Look at the Irish. Look at the Irish.
And I am Irish, actually. Hey, uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, I think, Monday. I think it's, what, the 17th? Wait. Saturday. I bet they celebrating on Monday. I think it's 17th. Uh, my family came from, uh, or our family came from uh, Ireland and Germany. Uh, the Irish family came from County Cork in Ireland, the Keegans. And uh, uh, the German family came from, I don't, what is it, Alice does, I can't, I can't pronounce it. Let's see, uh, what did I want to... I'm thinking also about uh, hooking up my G7 camera. I tried that in the past, hooking up the Panasonic G camera and using the video from it instead of using a USB webcam. Oh, I hate this. Uh, you see the PayPal thing up there? I drag every time it pops up, I drag it down and remove it. It, d it doesn't uninstall it, but it uh, doesn't show up there. Uh, I still like this Sony cell phone, but uh, Xperia, I still like it, but they have some of their applications on here, you know, that are intrusive that you can't remove, uh, whatever. So I won't be buying another one of those because of that, because I can't remove some of those apps off there. Uh, let's see here. YouTube. I want a new banner up here. Well, I guess it's time if only to. And I need to change that. Uh, this is a reminder. Medication. 6 a.m. This is a reminder. Medication. I hate Facebook, but I'm signed up for some of those uh, authentication things where, you know, you have to, uh, where you get a text from Facebook or whatever it, when you try to log into someplace else. And I just hate Facebook. It is. Oh, let's see. Nothing spectacular here on same sort of thing with views. Takes a couple of days and I get, you know, 80 or 90 views in a couple of days. Uh, some people, uh, some people upload a video and, you know, get a hundred thousand, two hundred, three hundred thousand or maybe a million views in a short period of time and I just cannot get up to the 3,000 subscriber mark. Anyway, I want to get a new banner and let's see if I have, here it is, yeah. This banner, a guy I was talking to years ago a uh, programmer, uh, a designer in Switzerland, and I was telling him that I w I'd like to get a banner, and he was doing stuff while he was chatting 
Oh, I think we were typing, chatting. I don't think we were. Yeah, I can't remember. Long time ago. And uh, he asked me a few questions, you know, and, and then he popped up something. And he says, do you have any pictures? And I said, well, yeah. And I, he said, send them to me. So, you know, this is a baby picture of me, one on my tricycle here when I was, I don't know, here was on a grade school, elementary grade school thing. And then these other pictures of me, and I sent them, and then he popped back and he asked me about the color or whatever, and bang, he made this for me. <laughs> while And he was doing it while he was doing, he was chatting with me while he was uh, designing it. I think I'm going to go back to this color and this theme and this idea, I think, for, I think I'll use that color through and start, uh, anyway, I should, you know, I have, I've paid for, uh, different programs, I just haven't spent the time to figure out how to, you know, to use them. I've got this blocking my, there we go, N0UWY, my ham call sign. Need to take my medicine, but this is for yesterday's. So I have to get that, and my arthritis is bugging me, so here when I, well, I do have some coke here. I'll take an naproxen now. Uh, they seem like they work a little bit. It's naproxen and it's 500 milligrams. I forget what the non-prescription name is. Is it Motrin or is it not Tylenol? Whatever it is, uh, this is a prescription one because it's 500 milligrams, but you can go into a drugstore and buy the naproxen under whatever its other name is and then just take two of them, which would be more than uh, 500 milligrams. Uh, in case you're trying to read what's back here, <laughs> not my passwords or anything like this. This is some notes on uh, podcast sites. And behind that is a list of movies that a guy on, on YouTube recommended for Netflix. Goldstone, Son of a Gun, Bad Day for the Cult, Cut, uh, Mojava. Uh, Black Sea, Brick, Too Late, Remember, Turbo Kid, Cam, She's Out of My League, Kill the Irishman, and The Autopsy of Jane Doe. I will skip The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Anyway, that's his recommend. I watch his uh, recommendations every... He, well, he makes them more than every month because he has, you know, like different categories from time to time. If I can remember, I'll put the link below to his site. Um, as you can see, I've moved my, no, that's my wife. Uh, the Alexa I now have back behind me. Sorry, I don't know that. Uh, my Echo I have back behind me. I've hooked it up to uh, external speakers, and it's a little loud, too loud. You know, it'd be too loud for me or if I'm worried about our neighbors or something, especially since I'm up and down all night long and I'll wake up and ask, you know, what time it is or what the temperature is or something. So it's easier to control it, having it just using the speaker on it. Um... So, let's go back. I'm going to go here. Let me go to my wish list. 
And the wish list is sometimes, I, a lot of that stuff I just put there, so in case I want to go back. Let's see, uh, wait a minute. Oh, let's see how much, you know, I, I think I already checked. Am I at Amazon? Yeah. Go to uh, earnings. Okay, go to uh, payment history. I'll show it. This month, I will. <clears throat> they will deposit thirteen dollars and seven cents. Amazon will into my account. Uh, what did I want to go to? Amazon. Oh, I wanted. Oh, yeah. Wish list. Go to. Wish list. Here are the two brackets that I just put on there. Uh, we have gone through so many vacuum cleaners here. Uh, well, in fact, I but that didn't work out either. Um, when my ex-wife and my grown son lived next door, and their vacuum cleaner broke. I uh, took mine over there and let them use it, and then finally I just left it over there, and it broke immediately from them, I think, vacuuming up uh, cat litter and all kinds of stuff. Then when the ex-wife and the uh, son moved in here and were sharing the apartment, we have gone through so many. And, like, <sighs> I'm just going to, this is an inexpensive one, probably won't. I'm going to purchase that one. I won't be able to stick with it, but I'm going to purchase it and for be for my room only, because I'm not vacuuming up uh, cat litter and other stuff. Uh, because the one we now have, the uh, vacuum cleaner, which it's not working the way it should. Here's the FZ three hundred. Ooh, four hundred dollars. I thought it was down to three hundred, but maybe that's the FZ eighty. I think that's it. Which uh, FZ eighty also has. Uh, in fact, I've. In fact, there are uh, reviews where you can do a search and do FZ80 versus FZ300 with the pros and cons of each. The FZ, sorry about this, I'm sure I'm hitting the microphone. The, uh, uh, well, let's take a look at this. The um, FZ80, the, the thing with it is that the zoom on, this is it. This has a really good zoom, and my FZ200 well, I should have let's see 25 to, I think it says 600. That's a good zoom too, 25 to 600. But the FZ80 is uh, up to I think 1200 zoom. I don't need a zoom like that, but my God. But anyway. I th um, I don't want to sell. Well, I would sell. If I get the FC 300, I would sell the FC 200. Or pass it on to one of my kids. I think they've all got cameras now that they, you know. Good cameras. Uh, I don't have the, uh, for the FC200, I don't have the box for it or anything else. It's been barely used. 
there's no marks or anything on it or scratches or anything but now I have an F an LX7 which I'm it's compact pocket size or whatever I'll keep that one uh, although I would like to have an LX10 or the other one they have the LX was it LX100 or something but man they're just way too expensive uh, let's see here oh I think the problem with the LX80 is that that screen you know the the screen on the back does not articulate and that's a that is a no-go here I need to get two of these so I can sit here and turn on and off the lights by voice command and I don't need this but it's I would like to have it and I was looking at this mirror again I, this has been on here well see it's been on there since May of 2018 watched a bunch of reviews on YouTube and people talk you know talked good about it but it was like well it's you know it's not super super sharp you know sharp and uh, all the videos to me looked good but uh, the thing is that this this is a good price for a 45 to 150 lens for the, my Panasonic G7 Let's see. Here's the LX, or here's the FZ80. Uh, 60x zoom. Now here's a camera. Well, I have the LX7. And it's a great camera, and I'm very happy with it. And I really have no complaints, but I'd like to have the LX10, but not for $500. And here's the LX100, and I would really like to have more so, of course, than the LX10. But it's $600. I have a Chrome box, but I don't have, this would be a step up for me. I'm not using the Chrome box, but I'd still like to have this one. And I hate flash, never use flash, but this looks like a good, you know, and it would work with my, uh, but I, I never use flash. I mean, all in my entire life, I tried never to use, I always want to use available lighting. Okay, I think that's, <clears throat> now here's a dual monitor stand. And I'm thinking about that, especially since you see it just, uh, you don't have to clamp it on, don't have to drill through something. Um, and dual monitors. I don't know. I don't know. Now here's a single thing, and you, it, it will clamp, and supposedly it has a reach underneath there to take care of things when you have a lip, but it also, you can drill. Now, of course, this desk, I don't have a, a drill, an electric drill, or any kind of a drill. This thing is, this thing is massive. <laughs> but, uh, 30 bucks, a good deal. I mean, you know, thinking about it. So, um, YouTube, my reviews, remember Amazon removed hundreds of reviews and I am, I cannot, uh, off of that. I, and all of them had video with them. Um, and I am banned from. I don't know why. Well, I think I know why. But, I mean, they never contacted me. 
never told me, but if I try to go, let's, let's try to, let's, I'll show you what I mean here. Go to, uh, let's go, I don't own this, but let me go here. And let me uh, go down here to do a review of it. Let's see. Uh, let's see, where is it? Write a review. Okay, Jim Howard, write a review of this. Sorry, we are unable to accept your review. You are no longer permitted to review products on Amazon because you have violated our community standard guidelines. Now, I don't think it said that uh, before. I think, bef I think the message I've gotten before is you are not, you can't do, but it says community guidelines. Uh... Well, I'm not sure what I, well, I know, I know what they, you know, they think that I took money to uh, give positive reviews or something, which I did not. Uh, uh, you must have spent at least 50, okay, let's see. Respect promotions and commercials solicitations. In order to preserve the integrity of community content, content and activities consisting of advertising, promotion, or solicitation, whether direct or indirect, is not allowed, including creating, modifying, or posting content regarding your, okay, somebody's business, okay, that's, you know, your relative or where you work or something. Uh, creating, modifying, or posting content regarding your competitor. Okay, I haven't done anything like that. Creating or modifying or posting content in exchange for compensation of any kind, including free or discounted products, refunds, or reimbursements on behalf of someone else. Yes. But I put in there that, you know, this was sent to me as for free. Stuff, I always put that in there. I was doing that from, from the very beginning, and other people really, very few other people were. Um, creating, modifying, or posting. In exchange for, comp including free, okay. Uh, reimbursements, okay. I never took any uh, compensation other than uh, I would, they would, Companies would contact me and say, we'd like for you to review our product, and uh, we will, uh, you can order the product, and when you order the product, then we will, you know, refund your money. But, uh, so, so that's what, uh, well, that's it. So, they never told me, they never contacted me and told me that they were, Taking my reviews down, they never, so, that's my objection is that, uh, but my other objection is, that's my understanding, in fact, they announced that they have a group of reviewers that, I forget what they call them, Amazon does. These are people who, for some reason, they have picked and the deal is, say you have a refrigerator, you're a company, you want to sell refrigerators or stoves or TV sets or cameras or anything. Let's say I'm a camera seller, a manufacturer, whatever, and I contact uh, Amazon and uh, say I want to sell my camera on, on Amazon. Amazon then, I guess, sends out probably a, you know, a message with rules and whatever. And then it says to them, okay, well, you have to supply uh, 
a free camera or whatever the product is to, and I don't know how many people it is, I'm guessing like 10, I don't know, uh, people. But we will tell you who they, you know, who they are, and you have to send them a free product, and then they will review it and uh, post it. And then if their reviews are favorable, uh, then you will be allowed to sell products on. And so I forget what they call those people. But what, uh, what's the difference between, except that those people are picked by Amazon, what's the difference in what I did? I was contacted. The way it started for me was I uh, went to the doctor and I have some medical problems or whatever and the doctor suggested that I uh, wear, uh, what do they call it? compression socks or whatever. So I purchased some and uh, used them and I thought that's pretty good. The doctor was correct and everything so I went on Amazon and I posted because I bought them. That's how I bought them. You know, bought them off Amazon. So I posted uh, things saying, you know, hey, the blah blah blah, and uh, it helped with the swelling in my feet. And my doctor recommended or whatever, and that was it. And I don't know, a weeks, months later or whatever, uh, the company contacted me and said, hey, thank you very much, you know, for the uh, review that you did on our socks. Uh, tell us what size you are and you need and we'll send you for free. We'll send you, uh, you know, a couple pair of socks. So I sent back. So then I think I might have, I think that was the first review I did. Maybe not. I had maybe done a few little, you know, reviews or whatever. Um, and then I started reviewing, you know, um, items. And then I started getting contacted by... Uh, sellers mainly, I think, almost totally in like China, asking me to review their you know products. But I honestly always reviewed the products. Now I mentioned, and I got criticized for it. And maybe, re <laughs> maybe that's maybe somebody reported me. But I mentioned that uh, uh, there were young people in China who were being sold a bill of goods about, you know, I think they, I'm not sure if they worked for a manufacturer of these, of products, or if they didn't work, but they were told, hey, uh, uh, purchase our, uh, you know, purchase our products, you know, 10, 100, or 1,000, or whatever, and sell them on Amazon, and in America and you will, you know, you will become rich or whatever. And so those people did that. I'm not sure if they took a loan out or how or worked, how it worked out, but those people would be contacting me and saying, Hey, um, whatever the thing is, I don't have anything around here. Well, and would you re re, you know, review it for us? And if you review it for, you know, review it for us and uh, as soon as you purchase, we'll give you the code number, you know, whatever. As soon as you purchase, we'll refund your money so you get to, you get it for free to keep and please review it for us. And I could tell immediately, you know, that they, uh, they would be traumatized if they did not get five stars because they were convinced that if they, if they got four stars, that that would be the end of their, you know, devastation and uh, everything for them. So if a product really wasn't, if I couldn't give it five stars, I would contact them and say, you know, okay, well, I'm sorry, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I just cannot give, you know, your product five stars. But, you know, I know you're concerned about it or whatever. Uh, I, if, do you want me to go ahead and give you the review? Or do you want me not to review it since I can't give you five stars? And all of them, I think, said, oh, no, don't review it. Please don't, you know, whatever. And so I didn't. Now, I mentioned that on, like, YouTube or 
maybe in a review. I wouldn't think I'd do that in a review. But anyway, I mentioned it someplace, and I got in, attacked, and they were by some people saying, you know, in comments saying, well, that's dishonest, and you and I, I was like, uh, I didn't go into a big debate about it, but it was like, no, I mean, I'm not saying I didn't, you know, get this product and then say, lie about it and say, well, it's kind of flimsy and I don't think the little door opens where you put the batteries on is going to last very long and give it four stars or something like that. Uh, now, also, what I did mention was that there were some products that were extremely inexpensive and that and I meant, but I mentioned that in the ad. Hey, you know, if uh, this thing is ten dollars, and I, I'm giving it five stars, but you know, if it was more money, I wouldn't give it five, you know, five stars. But for what you're spending for, it's a, you know, it's a bargain. I had some people attack me for that, so I don't know. Anyway, my complaint is not that. Amazon shut me, but it's kind of a shame because, uh, like, I purchased a scale years ago, electronic scale. Man, that was first one I got of those was really neat. After having the ones where you have to look down and the spring does, you know, the, to have the digital thing read out, that's pretty neat. And uh, anyway, I purchased it and reviewed it. Said how great it was. And then, uh, I don't know, a year and a half or whatever, the battery, you know, finally went out. So I put a new battery in the thing. So I went back, that's, and I did that on that, like, scale. Well, I can't go back there now. And uh, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, the reviews aren't there. But, like, I went back about every year, and every time I put a new battery in that thing, I would go back. And uh, and some other items, I would go back and say, uh, "Hey, this item is, you know, I just, you if you're wondering how long the battery lasts, well, it lasted for me a year and a half, and then it would be like, you know, another year and a half or whatever. I just put a new battery in the thing, the uh, scale's still working, and you know, and now I can't do that. And of course, those reviews aren't even there. I wish though that they had, because uh, I put some of those reviews on Amazon." And uh, I wish that instead of just wiping them out, you know, or I wish they had said, okay, you can download them. I wouldn't download them and re-upload them or something. I would just download them and then I would have maybe put all of them on uh, YouTube. Although a lot of them would not have been uh, good for YouTube. You know, the ones I put on YouTube, I think, are ones that, uh, something that I, you know, used or, uh, well, see, like the uh, FZ300 that I purchased and after 28 days or whatever stopped working, I went in there and updated that review and, uh, you know, put in there that, you know, Amazon had refunded my money completely immediately or whatever. But now that review is not, you know, not on there. So I just wish that they had, one, contacted me. And two, I wish that they'd have let me download the data. Because I, I forget how many reviews. I probably, on YouTube someplace, there's a thing pr from years ago probably saying, oh, I have 500 reviews on Amazon. Because I don't remember how many I had, but I would like to have that data. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you looked at my thing and were listening to me a little bit, you probably are aware that I'm thinking about starting again to do a pod audio podcast, and with the same company that I can't, you know, they paid for their. Uh, pro version in the past and never really used it. I think I put one or two things. I'm thinking about s signing up again and well, I actually signed up again just today 
but I haven't put anything on there. And I'm thinking of signing up for their pro version again. So that's what's going on here. Okay, uh, it's okay, 6.30. I need to go and do, which you saw me do the other day, so I won't subject you to... Uh, I need to go here and approve the news items for today. Oh, you can't see that. I forgot that that's on my other monitor, so. So I need to do that now, and I will talk to you later on.